Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. I do. But things don't always go according to plan, Malik. I did what I could. I... I'm sure you did. You ready to go? Well, if you're gonna be such a bitch. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Two minutes on loading screen. Jesus, this is ridiculous. This is very ridiculous if you know what I'm saying. No oh, man. I've been sitting looking at this loading screen for like two minutes and it's gonna seem like five seconds because I edited this video for my viewers. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her... Wait, what? Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. We're burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I didn't realize that uh, Megan had died. It sucks, man. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. 
By the time anyone knew what had hit us, they were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Man, I'm gonna be all fucking depressed that Megan died, man. Just, that was, that was my girlfriend thing. I don't even know. Were we girlfriends? Were we not? I'm gonna have to Wikipedia this shit. Can you believe those fanatics? I mean, they think taking hostages will get augmentations banned? Jensen, you back to handling security around here? Because somebody's stealing supplies again. Okay, the fuck do you want me to do about that? Figure it out yourself. You're a girl, man. You got big boy pants on. You fucking do it. What do I look like? Your maid? Look at you. Standing there doing jack shit. Asshole. <clears throat> I feel way too aggressive right now. Nope, nope, nothing about. Nothing about. Me being awesome. Nope. Cool. Either that or I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> Hands research. I'm sorry, but that kills me. I know it shouldn't, but it's just funny. Anything in here? <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. <clears throat> I'll just. Leave then. I don't buy for a second he was with Purity first. I think someone slipped him into Sandra's group to manipulate the <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, beautiful. Ah. No, oh, man. I wish I could play that game. Looks awesome. Let's just take this drive out. Pritchard, what's up, dude? You are still. What is this? Rating. No. You are still a butt nugget, but you're my butt nugget, and I'm gonna take your candy bar while you're not looking. All right, what's up, butt nugget? Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Or maybe you could just stop being such a fucking prick, dude. Like, for real. What did I ever do to you? Besides, pro you, you probably had a thing for Megan, didn't you? I'm sorry. I totally banged Megan and you... You didn't even get sa sloppy seconds because now she's dead. And this is actually really cool. The uh, archway of... Television. Is this shit still relevant in this time? Like... This is not even a f this is way before flat screens. Anyway, <clears throat> where's his office? <sighs> for an augmented robot man thing, can't run for shit. Please don't tell me I have to use another code because I totally forgot what it was from the first episode. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> elevator time. <laughs> it's elevator time. I love elevator time. It's time for the el- I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll 
talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the Lynn Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. You insist? Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. And I did. The Typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. He's not the mastermind behind this, boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. What? Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? It's a bit creepy. Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the Typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. I'm taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. All right, man, this is some heavy stuff. A lot, a lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue. Get open. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Sarah was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Tagger, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Tagger has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. Aren't we all, Crypt Keeper? Aren't we all? What's in here? Oh, oh another bathroom. What is, what is with all the bathrooms? Uh... I swear one of these times there's going to be somebody taking a poop. And I'm just going to walk in and be like, What's up? My name is David. And I like to, to watch people poop. Because I'm David, and I'm part robot, and that's what robots do nowadays. <laughs> 